I've never seen a market like this. You could buy almost anything. But Bourbon owed money to the Hansa sentries and was anxious to leave. That's right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian, your host and commentator, and it is January 3rd. That's right, right after the New Year, so you're actually going to be seeing this not too shortly after it's recorded. I've been kind of... I took a break, so I'm kind of not backed up on videos, but I'm recording as I go, like a la carte. But anyway, welcome back to my 100% completion walkthrough of this game. Uh, we have a couple diary locations in here, as well as a safe location, so we'll be grabbing both of those. And just kind of stocking up and getting ready to take off and head out into the big world of Dead City, so. Hey guys, we'd better search these two. Yeah, you better. Search, you can search me, big boy. What are you carrying this time around? Who's the boy? Just put on my gas mask. No reason. Sure. Let's go and chat a little. And you keep an eye on this one, huh? Yep, chat, chat, chat away. All right. Anyway, our first diary location is located right on this thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and bust that out and read it. Uh, no one. Yes, I'd never get here without Bourbon. He's at home everywhere, and he knows everyone. Sure, as I suspected, the locals did have some old gripes with him, but looks like Bourbon sorted it out, which is hardly surprising since Prospect Mira belongs to Hansa a trading union of the Circle Line stations and richest of the metro states. Quotation marks on those states, the word states. The citizens of Hansa, their wealth insured through trade and with other states and free stations, understandably value profit above anything. I think Bourbon had betrayed their trust before, and now he surely had to promise he'd pay them back with interest. The only problem is that there is a saying, better be indebted to the devil than to Hansa. He's going to, or he's going to have one tough time paying them back. All right, well, we'll see about that. So, anyway, how's your how's your day going? My day is going pretty good. My New Year's was really well. Three days into 2015, it's already been pretty straight for the most part. Let's move our asses, or would you like to enjoy their company a little more? I definitely want to get the hell out of here. So let's go. Let's go, Bourbon. Introduce me to Market. We're in deep shit. No way I can pay back those rail car guys. We'll be lucky if they let us shovel shit for the rest of our lives. Oh, jeez, that doesn't, does not sound good. Well, we can't go to Hansa. Look, oh, here are some cartridges. Go get a couple filters, will ya? I have an idea. I'll go have a talk with a certain someone. We could either meet at the local bar, or I can find you elsewhere. Well, off you go. You have around five minutes. Okay, so he's going to go and take care of... He's going to go and do bourbon things while we explore the the rest of Market Station. So it's aptly named because it's a huge market area. There's all kinds of shit we can find here. So we're going to spend a pretty good time. 300, jeez. That's so many military-grade rounds. MGRs, money. Uh, I don't think there's any on these, though. Unfortunately. And so, anyway, there's a uh, there's the safe in this in this level. Oh, there we go. There's one. Yeah, I thought so. So there's the safe. Let's actually we can run and go grab the. Oh, apparently there's something else. I just looked at. What was it that? Oh, that's sneaky. That's very well hidden. I don't understand how people are supposed to to find that. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab the key to that safe really quick since it's right around the corner and we're not going to be coming back to that area of market after this. So we can run in here. And kaboom, open up. Open sesame. Oh, yeah. 24. It's good that we have all this, too, because shit's expensive. There's actually a. Oh, I can't go back there yet. You gotta wait till Bourbon's ready to go back there. It would seem. So yeah, this whole episode's probably gonna take place here in Market. This guy's kind of, I guess, watching the weapon stores. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and 
I don't know. Yeah, we can just kind of look around for a little bit. We have five minutes, you know. We're going to be looking at all these guys and all these things. Like I said, it really really puts you into the atmosphere of the, the whole area. I don't know. This game's very atmospheric, I think. It does a very good job at it. You can actually go up to the bar here and have a nice... You can order a drink and have a drink with the uh, the dude. I don't know how much it costs. I guess one. But uh, I just ordered me a drink, so hurry up, pal. Well, man, why don't you give me some of that? Yeah. This dude's trashed. All right. Cheers. <laughs> and there he goes. Oh, wow. Now I'm all fucked up. Whoa. Whoa. You've no business here. This exit's locked down. Move along. Whatever, man. You have no business with your mom. Hey, baby. What are you doing? Looking sexy. And that's how long it lasts being drunk. So, nothing too exciting. Uh, I think we got some cartridges on one of these. Oh, yeah, right here. Not cartridges, some, uh, some pre-war... God damn it, I always say pre, some military-grade rounds. That's what I'm trying to say every time, and I always say pre. I always start off with pre. <laughs> I don't know why. Here's the main market area. That's where the, the merchants are. Um, before we do that, though, we're, the second diary location for this level is right here. So let's go ahead and read that bad boy. Filters, filters, filters. It seems like the stalkers never talk about anything else. They keep droning about filters being all but un oh being all but unobtainable now, not just the unused but even adequately refitted. That the refitted, being the bastards that they are, don't put enough coal into them, and that you have to reach for a new one as soon as you finish attaching the previous to your mask. But whatever they say about the filters, stalkers value them more than the bullets. No wonder that too. You might sneak by on the surface without ever being found out by the mutants. But there's no escaping the poisoned air. It's very true. So he wants us to get some filters, but frankly, I mean, we have 12, almost 13 minutes worth of, uh, of air with our filters, and I'm pretty sure we'll be getting more, too. Well, fine. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll be obtaining some more filters up in the on the surface as well. So anyway, this is going to be the second shooting gallery. This one's a lot better than the first one. Uh, I'm actually, you know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my... I'm going to upgrade my pistol really quick. Um, I want to give it this sight right here. It's going to make it a little bit easier for shooting. And we also have all this handy dandy stuff that we could add to it. Hmm. 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 Oh, so that's so those two are part of the... Yeah, I'm probably going to end up getting this as well. I need a short barrel carbine. I um, think I want this as well. So yeah, let me get the laser sight. And I'll think about that. Obviously, I think I want to keep this. Because this makes it increase accuracy at medium. Uh, makes it bulkier and heavier. That's fine. Not too worried about that. I already have the sight. So all I have left are these. Yeah, has this. So I could get the stock. But I'm not entirely sure if I want to do that. And you can customize the bastard gun as well a bit. Uh, I think... Hmm. You know what, let me just do this shooting range and then we'll figure all this other stuff out. So you can pay 10 right here. Because, I mean, I don't know, the revolver is all you're really going to need. It's all I'm going to need, at least. And this is where the treasure is right there. So let's go ahead and start the first challenge. That laser sight's really weird. But uh, first challenge is really simple, <laughs> and that's that. That's it for the first challenge. Like I said, really simple. Challenge two is not too much more difficult. We have a total of three targets this time. Ooh, wow! Look at whiffed on that. In fact, I'd say challenge four and six are probably the hardest ones. Um. But we'll get to that in a bit. I'll, you'll, you'll get to experience that very shortly, I assure you. And there are seven. Why are there seven targets? I only have six rounds. Come on. 
Come on, game. All right, here we go. So this is where the challenges actually start to get intense and serious. So you're going to want to pop these targets as soon as they come out. And there's going to be a lot of them. So we'll just sit down here in the bottom left corner. Eventually they're going to come out on top, too, once you pop enough lower ones. So you're going to want to do them in the order that they come out in. And then we can go ahead and move up here to these three and then reload. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, now they're just going to come out in just massive multitudes of uh, these. So, be prepared for that. That's all I can say. Alright, I'm going to need to concentrate because there's a lot of shit going on. You can bust out the machine gun, but I don't know. I just tend to do better with the revolver, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get them all with this. Oh, God. You got this, Brian. Really aren't that many up top either. Let me get this close one though. Alright, now I'll go for the ones up top. So they're getting really close. As soon as one finishes, I think you lose. So you're gonna wanna get them get them all as soon as possible. Looks like I pretty much have this one down pat. Alrighty, there we go. Handled that one pretty well. Like I said, you could bust out the bastard and just spray and pray, but. I don't know, I prefer not to. Oh boy. Alright, challenge five, not quite as difficult. You know, actually, I would recommend waiting for all these to come out. I don't know why I actually kind of prematurely shot that first one. Because I don't know why. Whoops. Shit, now the other ones are going to come out. Yeah. Let those ones all stop. I actually wonder if now I'd. I guess I really don't need to... I don't know, it's, it's just hard to see the laser sight all the way down there at the end, so I guess I technically don't need to zoom in, but I still feel more comfortable doing that. Damn it, did I shoot the one in front of me? Oh, jeez. Woo! Oh, I missed him. First time I messed up on a... I did this on my first try last time. It was really easy, actually. I got kind of close sometimes, but it wasn't too bad. That's fine. Okay, there's the first two waves. Let's actually try and get it this time now. I'm on point now. I'm on top of things this time. I don't know how I let those. Well, I guess they only came halfway up, so I didn't think it was that that big of a deal, I guess. I didn't think they were that threatening, you know? Shit. Alright. There we go. I want to have all six shots for this. Now I just got to count on not missing a single one. Oh god. There we go. Got it. All right, challenge challenge 6. The the dummies that you shoot at now get a little bit more upgraded and everything, so just be aware of that. And they have these little shields. You have to shoot them in the head. And at first they don't have a helmet or any armor or anything, but eventually the dummies get armor and helmets. So you're going to have to shoot them twice when that happens. But for right now, you can kind of just, just chill and shoot it out, you know. Have a good time. Have a good time. Oh, I missed. I whiffed hard on that dude. Sorry, I didn't mean to miss you. He felt all left out. He's like, man, why didn't you shoot me? Shut all my friends. And I'm all like, shut up, dummy. And I'm not trying to call him a dummy because he's a dummy, but... Alright, so this one I'm just going to go all out. Like I said, it takes two shots. And then you're going to eventually get ones with shields, so... I want to make sure you take these ones out as quick as possible. 
It's actually really scary. Uh, God, how did I miss that one on the left? Fuck, did I miss you? There we go. We end up getting really close, too. I actually think if you have a shotgun and they get up close enough, or if you have the up, the, the, the next shotgun that we're going to be getting, actually, you can actually uh, take them out with one hit if you shoot them in the head. Oh, my God. I better not miss this guy. Whew. There we go. Jesus Christ. I was about to shit myself. Alright, we get 45, so we get a net gain of 35 <laughs> pre-military grade rounds or whatever. So if you come over here and you need any of these, you know, go for it. He also has healing shit, which like I said, I don't think we really need any filters or med kits or anything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and trade in these and sell 8 for 2. Since I won't be using those at all, I actually think I might trade in. I don't know what the, the max amount of these I can have is. But, uh, let me go ahead and, let me get down to the, yeah, I'll get, I'll get down to 30. So I'll sell that, and then I have a bunch of this, too. So let me, let me get to 150 for that, I think I'm good on the revolver You're ammo. Welcome. I know you don't get a lot of money, it's probably better just keeping the ammo, but I know we're going to find a lot more, so. And I don't need any of those, so. Now, um, it's all about... This is the gun we saw earlier. Like I said, I'm not going to use it. Because I don't like it. But we can go ahead and grab the Shambler. Which is a six shot, six round shotgun. So it has six shots that you can, you know, compared to the, the one or two of the other one. But the other one's really nice. I like this one a lot. But, uh, and it already has all these upgrades. So we'd be saving a lot of money if I just threw one of these bad boys on. But why would I do that for a shotgun since it shot spreads decrease, you know, more damage fall off. Uh, good for medium range. I want the shotgun to be a close range weapon. So there's no need to extend the barrel. However, it does have all this cool stuff, you know. So it has more accuracy with these attached. And then there's the laser sight. So all I would really need is the laser sight compared to... <sighs> How much is that one worth? Oh, actually, we can't even buy the shotgun. Um, well, the bastard's worth that. You know what? I'm going to buy the Shambler. I'm going to go ahead and trade in the... Did you sell it for 60... Woo! Sell it for 66. Which means we'll get 30. So we're going to pay a total of 39. That's not bad at all, actually. I'll do that. I'll go ahead and customize this guy a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's put the scope on. I like that. Uh, laser sight as well. Timing buckshot. So that just makes it more. Well, I guess you know. I guess it wouldn't. It could still be used for long. Or, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll go with the. I'll go with this too. Extended barrel. So. Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. And actually, you know what? And I want to customize this just a little more. Have those. So let me go ahead and I'll get the reduced coil. You know, I'll just get all of it. We're just going hard today. <laughs> Alright, so I'm, I'm not going to even touch my bastard, though, because I think there might be a better... I, like he said, he's going to give us his AK, so I think I'll swat, swap over to that once we uh, help Bourbon out. So anyway, let's. I think that's all we're going to be doing here. We got both the diary pages, and we got the safe. So let's go ahead and... Head back to this main area. There's Berman. Let's see what he's up to. Well, I made an arrangement with the guy here. He's a greedy asshole, but we can't do anything about that. Is Great. that right? Let's go then. I think you already know the way. All right. Make sure you do everything you need to here, because I think it's going to be a while before we get to the next uh, kind of city location where you can upgrade your weapons and stuff. So make sure you get whatever you need to be done here. So we have a bit of a ways to go. We're going to be in the tunnels quite a bit and up on the surface. We need to get up to the surface. Dude, I have not enough fucking... God, 17, almost 18 minutes worth of this stuff. It's crazy. Anyway, we can finally go in here, and I think there is some... Is there something over here we can get? No? Maybe not. Is there anything we can get from over here? I've already paid, Mike. You didn't pay me. But if you don't want to go through... 
pleasure doing business with you. I'm missing all this. Ow. I don't mean to stand on the fire. All right, cool. You know, with that, I think I'm going to end the episode here because we're about to enter the surface of uh, the dead city. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave me a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate it, and it helps out the channel a lot. So once again, thank you for watching. My name is Brian, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. shit. Ooh. All right, let's go.